Does Xbox have a huge backwards compatibility advantage over the PlayStation 5? Backwards compatibility has been a huge talking point and a huge focus for Microsoft over the last few years. And today Ubisoft made some news by announcing that their games will only be backwards compatible for PS4 games. Meanwhile, Ubisoft will have backwards compatibility for the Xbox One, the Xbox 360, and original Xbox games. And the question in today's video is, does this ultimately matter? Does this help the Xbox brand and the Series X itself? We're gonna get into it, we're gonna discuss it. But first, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel, where the X1 Bros. This is your positive gaming and Xbox community. We are all Xbox all the time hit that subscribe button join us if you want to support the show you can join the membership we have a membership button down there do that as well and let's do this earlier today ubisoft on their website said that quote backwards compatibility will be available for supported playstation 4 titles but will not be possible for PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, or PlayStation games. Meanwhile, over on their Xbox transition page, they say that games, quote, will be available for supported Xbox One, Xbox 360, and Xbox titles. Interestingly enough, the Ubisoft website has since been changed since this story dropped on a few publications. It now simply says that, quote, PlayStation 4 players will be able to join multiplayer games with PlayStation 5 players. Did Sony make them change this? Who knows? What does it mean? I don't know. But what we can be certain is that as of right now, Xbox does have the advantage when it comes to backwards compatibility. We know Xbox has been working hard on backwards compatibility, and they clearly have that over the PlayStation at the moment. But does that matter? How many people play backwards compatible games? I mean, how many people are going back and playing the original Xbox game or Xbox 360 game? And are they doing it in consistent numbers at this point? And does this feature really sell consoles. These are all valid points, and I don't think that many people actually go back and play the backwards compatibility games, and when they do, it's usually a one-off. For instance, I've gone back and I've played the original Red Dead Redemption. I wanted to try it out. I loved that game. I wanted to see, does it stand up the test of time? Does it stand up to what I remember? I wanted to, to experience that nostalgia, and so I'm sure when people do go back and play it, it's usually a one-off. It's two-off, right? It's Maybe it's for a party game to go back and play some retro Xbox games for yourself. Stuff like that. I think Xbox has really focused on bringing features and benefits to console gamers that have never existed before. And I think this is the key selling point for Microsoft. I think this is all a part of the words of Phil Spencer when he said a few years ago, and he said it basically at every E3 since he's taken over, that he wants to create an ecosystem in Xbox that is the best place for gamers to experience their games. And having backwards compatibility available for those gamers is a part of that experience. It's a part of making that the best place for gamers and hardcore gamers to play their games. Now, now, is this going to sell consoles based on this one fact alone, based on this one feature that the Xbox has more backwards compatibility games than, than PlayStation, right? That you can play more old games on it than you can on the PlayStation 5? No, it, absolutely not. But these features do begin to add up. And then Xbox releases a few big games. You combine this with, with the Game Pass and then, you know, they drop a big AAA game maybe here that we don't yet know about or, or, or a big title that everybody's got to buy. And all of a sudden, you've got this console, you've got this brand, you've got Xbox box becoming the place that gamers choose to play their games and so this one feature by itself is no big deal but these features combined with stuff like game pass combined with things like having the most powerful console you you combine all these things and then when they get that killer game that everybody has to experience i mean xbox is just going to be the brand where people choose to play their games regardless even if i'm wrong even if this isn't true this is just my opinion more features like this only benefit us as gamers and for me that's something i really appreciate and that is something that i really like about xbox that i do have these options that i have the options to go back regardless if i if i ever use them i know that it's there and i appreciate that I I appreciate that's very consumer friendly in my mind and I like that. Now in fairness, it does remain to be seen whether Sony will find a way to support older titles in some fashion on the PS5, but as of right now, Xbox can and does, and that's good for Xbox. It doesn't seem like a huge thing, but it's just another feature that, if, that adds up to create this experience for gamers that Xbox really is going for to be the best place that gamers can be. And I didn't even mention Project Cloud, right? The X Cloud, another feature, you know, bring your games with you on the go. Overall, I I just think it's an interesting story. I think it's interesting that these third-party titles are are saying this on their websites, right? Like a Ubisoft. I want to know what you guys think. Have you used the backwards compatibility feature on the Xbox? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Again, we're the X1 Bros. This is your positive gaming and Xbox community. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you next time.